All right, so we're going to be um, doing a new culture of micro worms today. Up until recently, I haven't really needed to have any live foods. I've dealt with a little bit of live foods in the past. Micro worms, white worms, uh, the odd little maggots here and there. Nothing too much because the, uh, the fish that I've had haven't really needed anything like this. But now I've got some smaller fish, I need to keep some live food cultures going. So I've got these micro worms here that I'm going to reculture today. We've got some vinegar eels going. I'm looking for some white worms and I've got some black worms. So hopefully we can do a few videos um, of these for you guys coming up. And we've also done the sort of uh, blood worms, mosquito larvae in the backyard thing. So we'll put a little tag up the top so you can check that out as well. But today we're going to be talking about micro worms. not been here before we do things to do with aquariums and tropical fish and whatnot we also have an online retail store which is the fishroom.co.nz so if you're in New Zealand and you want to buy some aquarium supplies jump on our website we also have a Facebook page Facebook group Instagram page and all that other stuff right now before I go any further I have been told by a particular subscriber that I don't smile enough Emma this is directed right at you in this video I'm going to smile lots and we can count it. So I've already smiled once, so let's go. Two smiles. Three smiles. All right, let's get on with the micro food. Four smiles. So micro worms are super easy to culture and they are super easy to feed out. So um, I've got my mix here for it. Just a bit of porridge or oatmeal or whatever else it is that you um, want to call it from wherever you are so you literally put a bit of that into a container a little bit of yeast and a starter culture and you're away so let's get that going okay so this is all that we need to do a micro worm culture porridge stuff yeast a drill bit to put holes into the lid a container and a culture in this case i've already got a culture going but you need to start a culture pretty simple start a culture you can pick up if from new zealand on trade me for sort of five ten bucks so pretty easy going all right so i have a drawl in one hand because i've got nothing else nothing to hold the camera porridge your stuff into here you can even eat it not very nice without sugar and salt and stuff Anyway, that's terrible. <clears throat> Not very good one handed at the moment. Just get your porridge your stuff in there. There you go, that was even easier. I'm using a two-sided container purely because I don't have a single hanging around because I used it the last lot of plants we sent away. If you're like me and you've used your hands, you wash your hand next. The yeast. Easy. Current culture. I know these things are really hard to open. Oh no, can I do it with one hand? Yep. It's all gross and grim. And put some all through there. Probably should have mixed up the yeast. That sloppy mess will turn into brilliant live food. So I like to reset my cultures every kind of month towards the start of the month. So easy. Do not yeet to this anymore. Get your lid. Get your drill bit. 
my case, I'm using a drill bit. Get in your bugger. My fingers aren't as strong as plastic. And put a hole in it. Put multiple holes in it, but I'm only going to put one in. Because I'm only using one hand. And you're dumb. That is your microworm culture. Too easy. I then take it along. Do, 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 do. And I put it above my fridge. And that's me done with the microculture. Microworm culture, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few more holes in that. Um, and so in a couple weeks' time, it will change um, colour. Actually, it will change a little in that. It will change colour and it will change smell. And then you'll see little microworms climbing up the side of the plastic container. Uh, and that's when you begin to harvest them. So um, I'll show you how I harvest them and I'll feed them out and we'll be done. Okay, so I brought the culture over to the black water tank. If you've not been following this, uh, we'll chuck a little card up there. You can check out the whole build for this. But it's pretty simple. Keep my finger. You're in it along. And that there is all food for your fish. Is it going to record for me? There you go, now they take notice. Sorry for the video quality. I'm recording during the day, it's a bit harder to do. Yeah, they're all microworms. Ah, I'm not gonna focus. It wasn't the smartest today. I've already given them a feed of Daphne here and a few other bits and pieces I had outside and some water. Um, but they're still going for it. So that's cool. A little more crazy in there. So this is another culture I've got going out here in the fish room. Just sits on top of the fridge out here as well. Same thing. I'm not very good at cleaning these tanks, am I? Notice it's in there yet? Here they go. There you go. So they're picking them off now. Just took them a little while to realize it was in there. Alright, so I've just put some in here. And they seem pretty keen. It's the first time that I have fed them this. And they're pretty happy on it. So it's a good start. To be honest, I didn't really expect them to be. Um, picky on it. Nice little fish eat microworms. It's not a complete diet. Wouldn't encourage people feeding it five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day, but definitely every couple of days or something like that. I feed the black water tank every second day with it. Micro pellets every other day between little blood worms once a week and that sort of stuff. So yeah. So we go microworms, they are super easy to grow, they are super easy, easy to harvest and super easy to feed. Uh, mollies, platies, sawtails, scuppies, uh, tetras, raspberry, all that kind of stuff. We absolutely love eating uh, microworms, bigger fish probably not so much. So if you've liked it, give us a sub, give us a uh, thumbs up, a few comments, and Emma, I hope that I've smiled enough for you. Before anyone gets a little bit, uh, uh, Cam's picking on someone. I know Emma in another life. I worked with her. Sorry, I work with her. So it was a little bit of fun. Catch you later.